Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Paul aka Modern Refer and today we're going to take a look at 3D printers and how it can help solve problems for us. A lot of the times we've run into issues where we need a component or a part and it's just not available out in the open market. Uh, and so in order to solve these kind of problems, we turn to customized parts. But nowadays there are something called 3D printers where we can actually CAD our part and then send it off to the 3D printer to have it printed. And within hours, the part is ready to go. I actually purchased my Creality Indler 3 Pro 3D printer uh, last year. And I've been using it to create products for myself, uh, for my friends and also to sell to the community uh, to support my channel here. Uh, and so if you are interested in any of the items that I have here, I will leave them down in the description below and you can check them out there. So I've had an issue with my Nile skimmer overflowing uh, through the vents in the lid cap. So I had to create a kind of like a diverter to reroute some of the foam back down into my sump versus getting it all on top of my uh, underside of the cabinet. So I had CAD that out, 3D printed it, and so far it's been working great. Another item that I've created um, was an item that um, sits on top of my calcium reactor glass tank. And that item actually holds my uh, Camor calcium doser. I created this part so that if it leaked, the tray has a hole in the middle of it where it will drain into the tank instead of on my floor. I've also created this neat little part here for the Neptune solenoid. And this solenoid here mounts onto this bracket that I have and this bracket can be mounted to the wall. Uh, this bracket here is actually a custom made bracket and uh, I've designed this bracket with the ability to have the snap-in ends right here. That way, this solenoid does not fall off when it's mounted to the wall. It snaps in just like this, and it comes in very handy, especially when mounting to the wall and try to keep things organized with these solenoids. I've created a few other pieces here. Uh, the actual apex mount, this is for the screen and this is great if you want to mount it to the wall and then put your display screen in here this will hold that perfectly fine i've also created some of these cone shape items here uh, and i'm using it for the uh, trident reagent uh, bottles and this is to make sure i can you know center the actual tube that's going down into the bottle and ensure that i'm getting the liquid straight from the middle and I can uh, that way uh, pull as much liquid as I can from the reagent. I've also created this other piece here. This is catted and 3D printed and it's used uh, on the PMUP utility pump. It's got the ability to mount a sensor on here. It's great if you're uh, using this with the optical sensor so you can kind of trigger the pump to turn off if the water level is too low. And along with that, I've 3D printed a bunch of parts for myself and for my friends. And this 3D printer actually comes in handy, especially if you're looking for a quick solution or if there's just no other parts out there that you can use to solve the issue that you're having. Now, one thing I do want to make a note of is that if you do decide to get a 3D printer, um, I have put down the link in my description below, which will show you which one I actually have. But I do want to point out that not all filaments are made the same. So you want to make sure you get something that is reef safe. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe as that helps me out. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.